And welcome back to Jeff Crane Hangate live at the Intercontinental Hotel here with, I just, just call him the fearless one. You can sue him, you can take him to court, you can do whatever you want. Tony Gashoka keeps on walking like Johnny Walker. And he's holding nothing back this time. He says, this is the moment for this country. List of shame is out. Resignation or stepping aside are in order. Some refusing. Tony said, all should step aside pending investigations. Tweets coming in thick and very fast. In fact, I gotta read this message that just came through, Tony. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for any question. Okay. Alfred Gitonga. Oh, I know Alfred. I call him Carl Rove. Yeah. He's the mastermind. Yes. He, he says, please get me a copy of the Gashoka list with my name on it. In fact, I'll give you two. Uh, first of all, to make the record clear, Alfred Gitonga was thrown out of State House by Mwai Kibaki. He was his personal assistant, but doesn't stop him from being my friend. But beyond that, yeah. the issue is that he appears on the WikiLeaks. I'll leave you a copy, which okay. you can give him. And beyond that, a letter now from the CIA. I can also tell you that he appears on the Public Accounts Committee together with his brother, Jimmy Wanjigi, of 2006. And I table it there. And that is now a matter within the court, which we have submitted in the case of defamation where we were sued by Kwacha Group of Companies, right. Jimmy Wanjigi, yeah. and Sunny somebody Wanjigi. Sunny Please, Alfred Gitonga, yeah. save yourself the trouble and just add your name as an interested party. I'm on P.O. Box 50705-00200, Nairobi, Kenya. Tony, so you don't mind being sued, do you? No, you can't bring it on. Because he's here in the Public Accounts Committee. Okay. He's here. He asked whether we do it, yeah. and he's here. Dr. Ke Dr. Kenneth Wameo, yes. well-known uh, vet, yes. good guy. He says, a question of mine I've been asking is, what about members of parliament vis-a-vis -vis CDF mismanagement accounts? Should they be brought to account as well? Absolutely. And in fact, that is the whole issue. We have always argued that it has gone against the constitution, but because MPs have been blackmailing political leaders in the past, presidents have never had the courage to take on parliament. Therefore, when parliament salaries are touched, when MPs are told to leave the CDF off, they threaten not to pass the budget. The role of parliament is oversight over the executive and the use of money with the executive. But because we have had a rogue parliament over the last couple of years, presidents have been unable to take the war to parliament. Are we going the Rwanda way, Tony? The Rwanda way, you know, you freeze accounts if yes. they're found guilty, you throw the guy 20 years in jail or whatever it is. Is that where we're going? Look at Kagame. In fact, Jeff, I like that you asked that question. I noticed you officiated over something in Rwanda the other day. <laughs> After a million people died, yeah. Kagame dusted the blood, he dusted the bones, and put Rwanda on its track. People now say, look at how quickly Rwanda has moved on. Yeah, took 20 if you, years. If you remember our neighbor here, Idi Amin Dada. Oh. How many names did he have? Oh. Well, how many? Was, Idi Amin. Oh, yeah, he had DCF, uh, DEO, oh. OHS, e, well, yeah, all these titles. And uh, he almost... And conqueror of the British Empire. And conqueror of the British Empire. In fact, he said for a British foreign secretary yeah. to enter and to see him, he had to kneel <laughs> in the heart. And the, all these things went to And Uganda. they would carry him. Up and you him. remember here also in the, uh, this guy who, Daw, Samuel Daw? Samuel Samuel, uh, Samuel no, Canyon Doe. Yeah, the guy like, in the wheelbarrow, they had to carry him out. That's right. There comes a moment in time, what did Mandela say? Now they're making movies about him. What did he say? I want to liberate the white race as well as I want to liberate the black race. And I want to be free. But if it so requires, I'm also ready to die. Speaking so you must be ready yes. as a leader, if you're Mandela, if you're Mahatma Gandhi, if you're Uhuru Kenyatta, you must lead your generation. Speaking of movies, yes. Philip N. Gishuru says, love him or hate him, Tony Gashoka is pure box office. <laughs> no, look, I, I really, Jeff, you bring me out of retirement and get me all these accolades. Yeah. Okay, thank you, my brother. I'm on Twitter, Tony Gashoka. I'll yeah. send you a thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, Reverend Wamugunda Wakimani. I know him. The good Rev? Yes, I do. He says, I'm trying to sleep. Tell Tony to stop shouting. <laughs> Well, Muhuda, there comes a time when, like Winston Churchill said, yes. that you must attack it from the air, the land, the sea, and under the water. And I'm sorry, Reverend, if you can't sleep, yeah. it's because the coming of the Christ has come. You know, the time has come for us to defend of all of God's children. Uh -huh. And we have tried to do it quietly. Uhuru tried to do it quietly, like Kibaki, but he had to throw a bombshell. Now, do you know... The cluster bomb is outlawed by the UN Reverend Mohonda Wamogonda because it was a bomb that killed friendly fire. Yes. It took 
away the friends and the enemy. So it was a road by the UN. Yeah. The president of Kenya had no choice. There's, he had to take enemy and vote. There's some critics, Tony, who say, <laughs> yes. what if the president grants a blanket amnesty? Blanket. You admit it? Can I say this? Go on. I've spoken to the president. And I'm telling the country the following thing. I'm not going to say beyond what he told me. He has drawn the line on corruption. There is no retreat. There is no surrender. He will not give up. He will seek the mandate of the Kenyan people on his record. And one record he's going to put behind him is to finish corruption in Kenya. Second point, and I want everyone to know, his two agenda items with Barack Obama are about the war on corruption and the war on terror. The two things that are about to destroy the nation of Kenya. When the leader of the free world comes to Kenya and meets the leader of this new generation of Kenyans who are fearless on corruption, he will raise two agendas. He will not be asking for help or, hand in or, or hold my hand. He will be saying, let there be no heaven where a terrorist can hide in the world because of attacking America on 9-11. Mm. He will be saying, let there be no heaven where terrorists in Somalia can hide for attacking Kenya. He will also be saying, let there be no corrupt dollar that can be in any banking system like we are doing with Russia as a world community. Yeah. Today, Putin has to answer for the matters that he's handling in the Ukraine. And we must send this message clearly to Alfred Gitonga, who may worry about millions he may have or may not have. Because otherwise he should go to bed, as Wamugunda recommends. But let me be very clear. We are going to pursue this as an international and a local policy. And there will be nowhere to hide except in the decency of honesty, virtue, hard work, and integrity in public service. Well if you want to enrich yourself better, go and join the drug lords of Colombia, or you go and become a Capone, but not in Uhuru Moigai's Kenya. No more. The line has been drawn. I, don't, I notice there are no drug lords who have been mentioned on the list, Tony. And I want to tell you what, those are part of the problem because people go into politics to hide what they do. And this is why we must bust it up at the political level. There is nowhere to hide. And if you want to say they have not been done that, it is not true. Obama signed an executive order banning an individual. And he's among the 50 most wanted people in the world. So you know these things. Why do you want me to say them here? Don't say it. Yeah. Don't say it. Why do you want me to say them? And then you put disclaimer. <laughs> if you want me to say me, I'll say it. Don't say it. Then I'll do a broadcast <laughs> on my YouTube. Oh, yeah. They try to say YouTube. Even you, Koinange. Yeah. You're not safe from these people. No. If Uhuru is not safe, are you safe? No. If YouTube... If, uh, why, what, why would anyone complain about being told to account for money you receive? I don't understand. Tony, Ginyang Garuma, HSC, says, and, and a very good point, by the way, he says, guys, remember recently deceased Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore, a benevolent dictator par excellence. Remember when Singapore was a poor country back in the 60s? It was on par with Jeff, Kenya. A lot of Kenyans don't know about Bio Koinange. How are you related to Bio Koinange? What does that have to do with Lee Kuan Yew, man? For the reasons I want to tell you this. And one day I want to ask you that, because he was the one man that was able to work with Jomo Kenyatta to the end. I wonder sometimes when Uhuru reads history, whether he looks back and remembers how painful it was for Jomo Kenyatta to jail Paul Ngei, how painful it was for him to jail among the Kapenguria six under detention, Awins Kodek, how painful it must have been for him to break with Jeramogi Oginga Odinga, who said no Uhuru, uh, no, no, no independence without Kenyatta. What difficulties Moi must have gone through to jail Ezekiah Oyugi? What difficulties Moi must have done to deal with the coup d'etat of 1982? What difficulties Moi Kibaki must have had to remove from office Christopher Murungaro, Alfred Gitonga, um, John Gidongo, um, Muiraria, mm. and all these people? Mm. I am saying the time has come for Uhuru to make equally difficult decisions. Decisions that are going to define his presidency. The way Mandela said, I'm not going to throw the white man out. After 27 years of detention, he said, no, it will destroy South Africa. Do you know, and I want to ask you this, why Jomo Kenyatta had to work with chiefs who had betrayed the independence movement, not the Mau Mau fighters? Because they were the only learned people who could handle government at that time. And I want to say sometimes leaders are put in positions by history which require hard decisions. Uhuru has been put by corruption okay. in so, a position. Tony, you forgot the required. question. Lee Kuan Yew. 
I want to answer it and I was going to answer it in an African context kwa sababu Jeff kuna mama moja alinisimamisha nikiwa barabara hmm. anaambia huyu kwa inangi anaongea kizungu mingi sana anaongea huko juu wazungu wanasikia na mimi nataka kusikia mnacheka juu ya nini <laughs> sasa mimi namwambia ile mambo atakumbuka haya <laughs> hapa so. na kule Singapore tunaweza <laughs> kuongea eh, hii ya wajuu basi <laughs> ule ni mtu aliyekuja akakuta Singapore ni inchi ilikuwa nyuma kwa maendeleo akakavi akaweka vikwazo za kumaliza ufisadi akaweka serikali iliyokuwa inafuata sheria na akuwa na huruma kwa rafiki ama yeyote aliyojaribu kuharibu inchi ama uchumi wa Singapore maisha yake aliwacha inchi ile inatongo, inaongoza katika ulimwengu katika ile kitu tunaita mapato ya kila mtu hmm. per capita income yeah. na mimi nikitaka tutaenda siku moja kwa bench hata kirigiti kiambu hata busia hata ukienda tutaka tuende tunanoka mimi nitaongea kinaga ubaga wewe na mimi Hii, mimi na wewe niwaambie watu ukweli wazifikiri muka shoka na kujapa kuongea kizungu na yaelewa haya maneno na mimi nitawaambia watu macho kwa macho vilivyo yeah. mambo hapa imekuwa ni hatari how do you say oh my in swahili unasema oh my kwa safari unasema hatari <laughs> ama unasema jambo ya kukimbia <laughs> unajua ile jambo ya kukimbia ni ile unasema jambo na mtu anachukua kibeti hawa hiyo jambo uh, ye, ya mtaa unaiona au, au salala ai 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 ye, ye. unajua zamani eh. kama wewe unakumbuka vilivyo eh. ukicheza mpira eh. zamani ulikuwa unapigwa geta eh, unajua sasa ile unaenda na mpira eh. au unaenda mzuri kufunga sasa ule mwingine anakuja nyuma anakupiga geta sasa uhuru amepiga corruption get it hiyo <laughs> <laughs> ndio ukweli wa maneno nakwambia iko hivyo okay. <laughs> and <laughs> i respect, surprise me every time man i respect the re dead president and they they let his role his his soul rest in peace yeah he played a he huge did, role he played a huge role at 90 he left a stalin economy but he was a benevolent dictator <laughs> and sometimes you have to be sometimes you have to be that yes poker game absolutely you know I, take no prisoners absolutely and look at tanzania which is not even richer than us they are looking at the fifth a president after kikwete the transition is smooth yeah, yeah. because ukienda kule tanzania two terms unafanya kazi unaondoka unakuwa elected and that is why american presidents have been overflying kenya to land in tanzania uhuru mwigai kenyatta the only one who has since independence brought a sitting american president na si mjaluo nimnini no i said it nimnini people say atini wao Barack Obama is coming to see the president of Kenya regardless of age, gender, color or religion. No, mimi nasema hiyo ni sawa hata akienda popote ni Kenya. What I am saying, we have crossed the barrier that people okay. want to put in our minds yeah. and I want to say this in my view, the opposition in this country is about to be uh, 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 eliminated because they have misread the international oh. and the local mood. Real quick Tony, real yeah. quick. Yes. And this may be an unpopular question or an unfair question, but let me ask it anyway. Ask me. If nothing happens in the next 60, 90, 120 days, yes. if nothing happens, yes. if it's back to business as usual by the end of 2015, yes. will this man, the president, will he end up being a one-term president? If that happens, you will wake up in your dream and find that you had died. Because I'm telling you, the president has told me there is no retreat, there is no surrender. And Jeff, if my word is not good enough for you, then you must ask in this country whose word is good enough. Because when we come here and I tell you things and they happen, you refuse to acknowledge them. I told you that the skies over Baghdad will be illuminated. Mm. I told you that there will be a storm. You refuse to hear me. I told you about Mike Sonko. You told me he has a rescue team. Yeah, they called you, him Robin no, Hood. No, but he's on the report. They called him Robin Hood. No, but you called him. I didn't. I said, where did he get his money? Now we know. 1.3 billion deal. Now, let me ask you these questions. Uh, you ask me for answers, I give you answers. Mm -hmm. How do you give me the problem? I'm telling you that I have talked with the President of the Republic of Kenya. And he has told me two sentences. There is no retreat, there is no friend, there is no enemy, there is no aid. Everybody will be subject to the law. And unless they clear themselves before a proper tribunal, he will not interfere. And in the meantime, you know, we're going to keep in check on this. So, you know, Absolutely. that's our job. That's our job. Yeah, and checks keep, and balances. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can keep checking on me because you are the only man who seems to know how to get me out of retirement. You know I am, Tony. <laughs> you know I am. You know I am. But, you know, and, and, and we must keep talking about it, Tony, because if we don't, we're going to slide back to where we were. We will We've not. cross that you, Rubicon you keep talking about. We've crossed that Rubicon. Am I allowed to send the president a message? No. He's not listening, man. Your He's Excellency, busy. the President, the English have a saying that if you squeeze them by the balls, their hearts and minds will follow.
so, 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 squeeze, squeeze if you squeeze them by the balls their hearts and minds will uh, do i need a disclaimer for that tony because you know there's kwa kiswahili ukiwashika pale hapa na hapa itafuata shika hapo hapo na usiwachilie mheshimiwa rais shika hapo kwa kwa ma ushike hapo hapo tu kwa kiswahili inaitwa hapo kwa kizungu by the balls of fire because it can be a football but let me say this when you squeeze not just hold their hearts and their minds will follow. You watch Kenya the, the next 60 days. <laughs> and many people will resign on their own accord. Right. Some will find bank accounts frozen. Some will pay taxes they've never had. Mm, mm. I don't know if you've ever heard of something called crawl report. Ikaeko under the carpet. Yes. I'm crawling under the carpet. Golden bug under the carpet. Tackle gorge under the carpet. Mm -hmm. Kenya water riser under the carpet. Chicken gate. Under the carpet. Everything under the carpet. Sasa, mnataka rais afanye nini? Na mnalia mmaskini. Eh. Mnalia Kenya inaisha. Yeah. Na rais ana bunduki, abigi mtu, anasema aenda ujibu. Usakiwe na ujibu mazoani. Mnataka nini wana Kenya? Mnataka turudi kwa kura, basi uhuru uja serikali. Turudi tuonane na watu. <laughs> eh, kwa wa, kwa wale na nchi. Sorry. Iko shida gani? Goodness gracious. We are not retreating. You have final thoughts, Tony. Final thoughts. My final thoughts. Moving thought. forward. Give us your 30, 45 seconds worth, Tony. Go okay, ahead. Jeff, let me say this. If I had been told when I was growing up as a young man that one day I'll be sitting and talking to Jeff Koenange, a renowned author, talking about public policy that would affect children unborn and those who will be their children and that that would make a difference, I wouldn't have believed it. When people would have told me we would live in a country where we had a new constitution that was bloodless, and that give the power and the sovereignty to the people, I wouldn't have believed it. Had you told me that we would have a two-term presidency where somebody would only serve and leave, I wouldn't have believed it. Had you told me at one time that you would have people standing aside because they're accused of corruption and not being able to buy their way out, I wouldn't have believed it. So what I want to tell the people of this country, what I want to tell the children who are watching and their parents who care for them and who will care for their grandchildren, is that we have a country called Kenya. And as encompassed in our uh, national anthem, let us defend this, our nation, mm -hmm. together. Let us make a decision today to also draw the line. When you go to church, and my mother is so good in, when she goes to church, they say, Salimia ule mwingine. What do they say? Yeah. Salimia, where you know this thing? Correct. Salimia mwingine. Mm -hmm. Then you turn, you greet the, the other person. Why? Because we are in unity. And I want to say this time has come for all of us to shake each other's hand and to say on corruption, there is no compromise. If you ask me, Tony, what is your parting word? I would call upon the opposition. I would call upon the churches. I would call upon all the commentators, including Koinange Jeff. And I would call upon the born and the unborn to believe that this country can be like Singapore. This country can be like the US. This country can become an iota. It can become an oasis. This country can become the leader, not just in Africa, but in the world of transformation. In Nigeria, for the first time mm. ever, a president has been defeated. An incumbent. An incumbent president has been defeated and conceded. And it was smooth. And what does he have in common with Uru Kenyatta? He was the first president to concede defeat and allow Kibaki to get into power without bloodshed. Mm. Uru Kenyatta in 2002 conceded defeat mm. and named Kibaki the president. In 2014-15, in March 26, in the National Assembly, he has drawn a new fast as well. As the first elected president of this constitution, he has drawn a line with corruption. And we can only stand behind him fully, absolutely, without condition. Tony, good point. Thank you so much for always coming back from retirement. When we need voices like yours. And let me just end with Anthony E. Mohinde's tweet. He says, absolutely great show tonight. Tony Gashoka, the line is clearly drawn. Well, thank you, my brother. And who to sleep with the angels. And may God be with you. Thank you, Tony. Tony Gashoka, unleashed and full of fire as always calling it like he sees it without fear or favor the gloves are definitely off the list of shame is out there if you want it you know where to get it call me i'll send you a copy if you want that in the meantime what tony has said is absolutely right if not us then who right tony absolutely if not now which generation which president when?
When will it be now? The moment. Which parliament? Is now. The line in the sand has been drawn. Has been drawn. And you elected him to do so. Oh my. Why am I? Can you make this stuff up? No, you cannot, Tony. Oh my lord, in heaven. I even like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have hair. <laughs> and now you're in court with me. <laughs> Sued by James Bond. James. I wonder who will sue you tomorrow. <laughs> Sean Connery. <laughs> Roger Moore. I don't know. I, what was this other guy uh, I liked? Yeah, um, yeah, uh, Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan. Yeah. I, I think with the type. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you know, and, and they never die. The Please. things with Bond. We have when our own lawyers. Them, they, oh, yeah, We've got yeah, the Grand Muller. Absolutely. And Gitopu Manyala. And Gitopu Manyala. Tomorrow night, <laughs> right here on JKL. Don't miss Inspiration Thursday, because we have the Omondi brothers right here on the bench. Eric and his brother, what's his brother's name? Freddy? Uh, Freddy. Freddy yeah, or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. by the way, that thing you did with Molly Zalumbe, well done. I've seen Anjuri Gishoro, well and, done. And, and he's still going through uh, therapy, by the way. Wonderful. Thank wonderful. you very much. Thank yeah. you. Tomorrow yeah. night, okay. right here on Inspiration Thursday. Thanks so much for being a part of this show tonight. Keep tweeting at Tony Gashoka, at Koinanga Jeff, the hashtag, list of shame, JKL, whatever you want to call it. Because I, as, as always, keep saying, gotta keep talking. Because the moment we stop, sit down. About what to do? Oh, oh. Because the moment we stop talking or standing is the moment we start fighting. Don't cut a shot. <laughs> well done, Jeff. What's the hurry, man? Thank you. What's the hurry? No, no, no. I good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. No, no. It was just a wonderful show. Because it's not had, over yet. We are, I know. But what a show for okay, Kenton. What a show. What a show. What a, show. What a, show. What a man. What a day. Oh, my. What, what am I? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Now we're sitting down again? Uh, because you said so. <laughs> it's your show. Are we still on, are we still on air? <laughs>